what's happening. This is Joshua Boetsy and you're watching Sports and Icons. Okay, so when John Fury spoke to Spencer Firon, and I'll put in the link below, he was speaking about his son Tommy, and he says that Tommy is the world's best listener. The world's best listener. Now, I understand, of course, you know, he's a father like myself and many of you listening and a parent, that you will always praise and back your children. Of course you would. And that's exactly what he's doing with Tommy. But, you know, he's a little bit of an exaggerating. The world's best listener. I mean, if he was working at McDonald's, would he be the world's best burger flipper? You know, the world's best window cleaner. The world's best mechanic. It's not that he's a good listener and you know he sits down he takes things on board he processes it and he listens to his dad and he does what he's told really but no it has to be the world's best listener I mean basically Tommy is the one who quite clearly is a little bit needy isn't he of course John will spend a bit of time away from his uh, family due to his own fault for quite some years so maybe Tommy's uh, just trying to get some of that time back with him Maybe. Maybe because Tommy is like the little one of the lot. He's like the runt of the litter, isn't he? As a John, John would call him, that you know, he breeds them. <laughs> he doesn't raise them, he breeds them. Um, the world's best listener. So basically, Tommy's the one who will do anything and everything that John says, really. And John was saying how Tommy wanted to become a superstar. And all that kind of stuff. And now he's a superstar because he's been listening to John. Which again, John, when he's talking about certain uh, fighters, if he was trying certain fighters, no, no, we'd stay away from this person, we'd stay away from that person. That's the kind of person we'd fight and blah, blah, blah. In other words, cherry pick right the way through. And the fact that he says, and he's trying to claim credit, much like he's trying to claim credit for Tyson being the fighter that he is and the world champion, even though John had very little to no input really, in Tyson's career. It was Tyson's uncle Huey to start with and then Uncle Peter. Then he went with Ben Davidson and now he's with Sugar Hill. There's a reason why John Fury's not training him. There's a reason for that. Um, Tyson doesn't want him around, clearly. Um, But Tommy will just do whatever Daddy says. Won't he? Now, for him to say that he's made Tommy a superstar because he listens, well, no... It's because he's the brother of Tyson. If he weren't the brother of Tyson, Tommy would never have got the opportunities that he got, such as Love Island, such as the Jake Paul fight. He wouldn't have got any of that. It's got nothing to do with guidance at all. Now, who knows where his boxing career is going to go, if his boxing career ever goes anywhere. I mean, he may as well just join up with uh, Wasserman and become become a a uh, Misfits fighter. He may as well. Because he's never going to go into boxing full-time and take on an area champion, an English champion, all these kind of words, because it's not financially viable, is it? When you're getting a couple of million to fight Jake Paul, and then maybe getting a couple more for a rematch, or maybe fight a KSI or um, whoever, a Aaron Chalmers, whatever it's going to be, then the last thing in the world you're going to want to do is go fight Joe Smith from down the road for an area title, is it? That's the last thing in the world you want to do for, what, 20 grand? So I don't ever see Tommy doing anything phenomenal in boxing. But at the end of the day, he's beaten a YouTuber. That's what he's done. He's beaten a YouTuber. Now, granted, for a lot of people, that was a 50-50 fight because people didn't know exactly how it was going to go because people don't really have that much faith in Tommy. They don't. And what champion has, has John ever trained? Can you name me one? Who's he been in the corner with? Well, it's mad, isn't it? He's the world's best listener. So basically, he's probably the only person around that actually listens to John and does what John tells him, because Tyson certainly don't. And because Tyson hasn't, look where he's got to. Because he thinks for himself. John's one of these people who's like a conspiracy theorist. Everyone's out to get him. The world's best listener phenomenal brilliant (laughs) well done tommy you are the world's best listener hopefully you can get a championship belt made and have the world's best listener on your next fight with it drop your thoughts below click thumbs up subscribe catch the next video